Hello my dear subscribers, glad to see you on my The Famous Rome channel, my name is Max. Today I want to talk to you about some very interesting news regarding Karen's private capital and the news that Matt might be proposing to his soulmate soon. As it turns out, Karen Chandler is not using Matt for his money. Earlier this week, Matt shared a picture of himself, Karen, Amy, Chris and two longtime pals. One of the subscribers wrote in response to the picture, so when you say friends of 30 plus years, you mean friends of yours and Amy. Hope you're getting a prenup, Matt. I wonder what the casual remark was referring to. Matt hinted that he would propose to Karen probably before the end of the year. In episodes of the aforementioned TLC program, the couple often talks about getting married at some point. But the question hasn't been put yet, so strangely, someone is referring to a prenup. I just wonder why Roloff would need such a legal document. Is it really important to him? Do you think he should legitimately fear losing a fortune if they get married and then divorce? Write in the comments. According to Matt himself, the answer is no. Since she has a net worth three times my worth, I hope she lets me sneak by. Karen's net wealth will surprise you. I need her to try to keep up. From these words, it all makes sense to me. According to the research I had seen, Matt's net worth was about $6 million. After Matt said that Karen was three times richer than him, she must have $18 million in the bank, which seems very suspicious, since she has worked as a farm manager for the past few years. Perhaps she has family money, another well-paying job, or maybe Roloff is just out of the loop. Matt, meanwhile, may soon see his profits rise because he recently put 16 acres of his farm up for sale for $4 million. Friends, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button. Can you hear them, viewers? You may have to listen, but now, perhaps more than ever, we're sure we can discern the sounds of wedding bells somewhere in the distance, and yet definitely ready to ring at some point. I know that for many months now, Roloff has made no secret of his plans to get down on one knee to Chandler. He said a while back that he was just waiting for Amy Roloff to marry her second husband, Chris. The ceremony was in August 2021, because he didn't want to get married at the same time. I think Karen and Matt are about to take another big step in their relationship. We all saw the father of four posting a video of him working on a backhoe last month. Flipping the cutting edge on track hoe bucket, he wrote in the caption at the time. Now that the rains are gone, I can start digging out for the new house. We were all very interested in Matt's very interesting post about the new house. What's going on there? A few days after that post, Matt posted a video of the excavation process for the foundation of their future home. So what I'm, what I'm doing right now, up the corner, so that'll be the, that'll be the uh, northwest corner of the foundation, headed out to the east. We all know that Matt and Karen already own a house together in Arizona. Roloff has often said that he plans to move there someday in retirement, perhaps even shortly, given that he recently put part of his farm in Oregon up for sale. It seems to me that it was his decision that caused the unfortunate family feud, because son Zach especially seems angry about the way his father handled the situation. Thanks for watching. See you soon.